all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come on kids, it's worship time!
Isn't it awesome kids? Teacher Che here to share God's message for you this Sunday. I hope you are safe and enjoying your weekend. Today, we will discuss Talk 4 entitled Invited vs. Chosen from our series The Clash. Let me ask you kids, have you ever been invited or got to attend a feast or fiesta here in the Philippines? It is usually a Filipino celebration where a certain place commemorates the feast of their patron saint to whom they submit their place for protection and guidance. For example, the Atiatihan in Cebu is in celebration of the Feast of the Santo Niño. During these kinds of feasts, everybody, regardless of one's social status, is welcome to join the celebration. This is also what we will learn today, that at the feast prepared by Jesus, everybody is welcome. Whether you are a sinner or a saint, you can go and celebrate with Jesus. He simply invites us to come to the feast, which is also our big message for today. So kids, just like in the past weeks, God will speak to us today through a parable, the parable of the wedding banquet. During the time of Jesus, weddings were still celebrated for several days even after the actual ceremony. In our story for today, taken from the book of Matthew chapter 22 verse 1 to 14, a king prepared a great wedding feast for his son. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servants to notify those who were invited, but they all refused to come. Actually, these people were only being reminded about the celebration, but because of their refusal, the king, though insulted, invited them again. Given the second reminder, some of them still ignored the invitation because their other concerns were more important to them like going to their farm or other businesses. These people are distracted as to what they would prioritize, the invitation of the king or their other concerns. Distraction is one of the temptations we experience that stops us from saying yes to the invitation of Jesus. How about you awesome kids? What are your priorities? Do you easily get distracted by what is happening around you? Especially during Sundays, do you choose to play with your toys rather than hear mass? Remember kids, that despite everything that concerns us, Jesus should still be our top priority. Another temptation that can stop us from coming to the feast of Christ is our tendency to not be able to fight sin. Going back to our parable, while well, some of those whom the king invited attended to their other concerns rather than going to the wedding banquet, others became violent and resorted to hurting and killing the messengers of the king. Always be careful, my dear awesome kids. Some of the sins we consider as small can grow to be bigger sins which can keep us away from Jesus. Let us always strive to be good and say yes to the invitation of Jesus to receive His love. To continue with our story today, because of what happened, the king said that those people whom he initially invited are not worthy to come to the wedding banquet. So what he did was ask his servants to go into the streets and invite everyone that they will see, good and bad alike, rich or poor, so that the banquet hall was filled with guests. Now, let me surprise you, dear awesome kids. In this part of the parable, Jesus is telling us that yes, everyone, everyone regardless of status, skin color, looks, and even if you are good or bad, is being invited by God to come to the feast. Again, that's our big message for you today. Let me hear you say it, kids. Come to the feast. Jesus is teaching us that God's kingdom is open to everyone. It means that even if you have a different religion or belief, whether you are a sinner or a saint, poor or rich, you can be accepted in God's kingdom. 
just like in the feast, where in different kinds of people gather to listen to the Word of God. God's feast is for everybody. It is a symbol of His abundance and His endless mercies. Our Bible verse for you today reinforces this message to us. The Song of Solomon chapter 2 verse 4 says, He escorts me to the banquet hall. It's obvious how much He loves me. That is how much God welcomes and loves us. God knows that His unconditional love can transform everyone to be good, even those who take His love for granted. So kids, let us choose to receive God's love always. Do not take God's love for granted. Give your yes to Him, His invitation, and His love. In God's face, there is always joy, mercy, blessings, and abundance. All these are given by God to us for free and without limit. God is truly so in love with us that He even sent us the most special servant to serve us by dying on the cross, His Son, Jesus. By these, we are all made worthy to come to God's feast. Will you come and say yes to God's invitation to love and be loved, awesome kids? He is just waiting for your sweet yes. That's all for now, awesome kids. I hope you learned a lot today. Let us now join Teacher Avon for our activity. Keep safe. Hi, awesome kids. I am Teacher Avon. How are you? I hope you all remain safe and healthy with your family. Are all of you excited for today's activity? But before we begin, let me give you one awesome clap for always tuning in to us. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome! Today, we'll learn that Jesus is inviting us all to come to Him because we are His chosen people. And He loves us so much despite our imperfections. To always remind us of this, we will create a fish menu today. Are you ready for it? Let's prepare the following materials for our activity. You will need fish menu template, colored markers or writing materials. Fill up the fish menu template by providing what you are being asked for in the different categories. In the appetizer part, write what and who you will or can bring to the feast. Going to the category of drinks, write your answers about what you can do to prepare yourself when going to the feast. Then, in the part of the main course, write what do you expect from the feast. Lastly, in the desserts category, write your key takeaway or learning from the talk today. Make your fish menu colorful and attractive by adding more decoration as you wish. I hope you had fun in creating your fish menu today, kids! We will really love to see your finished work, so ask your parents or your guardian to take a photo of you with it and post it in the comment section of the Feast PICC AM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. We, your teachers, will be excited to see your outputs. Again, keep with you our big message for today. Come to the Feast. See you next Sunday, Awesome Kids. Let us now get ready to pray our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and not of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday! See you next Sunday! Stay safe! God bless you! Why can't you